Hey, what's up guys? I am Brian at WhisperStatus74, and this video is going to be a follow-up to TCL's 75-inch 6 Series that Caleb Dennison at Digital Trends reviewed today. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel, the reason you're seeing his name backwards as it is the selfie camera on my phone, you have to forgive me for that. The reason I do these videos is to bring a little more clarity into their videos. Now, what I see a review or one of you guys bring a review to my attention, I like to send it out to you guys. And what we do here is basically have a discussion in the comments and in here with myself and you guys where we do discuss what was discussed in his review. Now, um, that's going to seem odd for you guys, but what we're looking for is discussion based. And what I mean is being that we're a tiny, tiny community, we can discuss these things openly and not worry about corporate or appeasing any particular manufacturer and we can just talk amongst ourselves. That's the whole problem or the whole issue with a lot of the bigger reviewers is they can't speak quite as freely as I'm sure they would like. Obviously they have people they have to be holding to. We don't have that here as we're just a tiny, tiny channel. Quickly about Caleb from Digital Trends. He actually has com or I've commented on his videos for quite a few years now, and I've always had the same criticism um, of not just him or Digital Trends, but a lot of these websites um, where they focus a lot on the physical aspects of the display, and we're more concerned with picture quality. You've heard him in a few of his reviews say that just get to the picture quality already. He said that himself. And he's actually acknowledged that, which is pretty amazing. He commented on one of my comments and actually commented or was nice enough to comment on the video that we had done about the Vizio P-Series Quantum X unboxing. He actually came onto the channel, uh, made a comment, and then him and I talked back and forth uh, quite a bit, actually. And I was very, very humbled that he took the time to actually talk to us, considering how small our community is. One thing he did say that I will share with you guys is that he was very complimentary of the community that we have here. How positive you guys are, how open you guys are, and how friendly you guys are to each other. So I thought that was really big of Caleb to take the time to comment on such a small channel. We are small, which is okay. It's the way I like it. But he has changed a little bit of how he approaches these reviews. He does focus a little bit more on the picture quality. You're seeing them do more test patterns. That's not due to us, obviously. That's due to what they've taken in regards to feedback from other channels and other comments. So pretty big deal that they actually decided to do that and change the way they review based on not just our community, but many other communities. And they're actually open. He actually responds, which is pretty amazing for these big channels. So let's give Caleb, uh, even though his name is backwards there, Caleb Dennison. Check him out on Digital Trends. They do a great job. So, TCL, why do we want to bring this one to your attention? Um, TCL 6 Series was a very, very, very popular display. Um, a lot of you guys don't realize that TCL is one of the most popular and most sold displays in the country, outside the country. Just They are extremely, extremely popular. They don't hang with the big three. They're not brought up all that much. They're kind of stuck with Vizio and some of the others as bargain brands. In my opinion, TCL actually occupied the spot that Vizio had in 2016. Vizio was caught up in a sale with Lico. They were going to purchase or was going to get purchased by Lico. That fell through. And in my opinion, Vizio really fell out of the top spot of this group. TCL, even with P-Series, their naming, the way their displays look, very similar to Vizio. But they do have an identity all their own. Why do I want to pass this review to you guys? Well, if you listen to what Caleb says in this review, he does spend quite a bit of time talking about the picture quality. And what we're trying to do is dissect what he really means about a lot of the things that he's saying. We don't care about TCL. We don't care about Sony or any of the manufacturers in regards to how they feel. We just want to talk about value. And 75 inches, guys, is huge. Um, obviously, we can all get a measuring tape, but there's so many of you guys out there that have 55-inch TVs, 65-inch TVs, and you're kind of surprised that your 65-inch TV isn't nearly as big as you thought it would be. And what I mean by that, we've done videos on this, the bezel of your old plasma, the, pl the bezel of your old LCDs is actually, interestingly enough, 
it'll make your old 52 inch TV nearly as large as a 65 inch TV. Um, if you don't believe me, measure your old 1080p displays and then look up dimensions on these spec sheets and you'll find they're pretty close. That messes with your mind a little bit. 75 inch to me is that next mammoth spot where it doesn't get too big. It's not something that shouldn't be in your room, but it's something that is very impressive and very immersive. Now remember guys, 4K allows us to be closer than ever. I am, for those of you who don't know me, I am looking at a Sony 900E. I am literally five to six feet from it for gaming. I am eight feet from it for movies. That said, the amount of value that you get with a display like this at thirteen or fourteen hundred dollars at seventy five inches is an absolute steal absolute steal, considering guys what it's competing with now what do I mean by that? Well, if you look at the Vizio p series that's about it in terms of seventy five inches I'm not sure Hisense has a seventy five inch that's available, but the six series let's go back a little bit. The six series was very, very popular last year it did suffer one major flaw and that was screen uniformity the dsc on those tvs was pretty bad a lot of you guys have had them you have returned them when a gray out hold on a second there you go you have returned them and due to screen uniformity dirty screen effects banding that was about the biggest weakness that that display had experienced and a lot of you guys returned them some of you guys have kept them now in the comments guys if you have a tcl 6 series please speak up let me know what you think about that display but back to what i was saying about the lack of 75 inch now i'm not sure if the tcl 6 series 75 inch is a brand new display to this year i wasn't aware that there was a 75 inch um i would have looked at them Actually, no, I was aware of that. There was 75 inches. I'm sorry. But I give him credit for reviewing this display at 75 inches because it's very hard to see reviews of anything over 65. Artings, uh, all of your favorites, Vincent, they very seldomly get 75 inch displays in. The biggest reason, guys, is they jump two or three times the price. Uh, the C9 OLED is somewhat affordable at 65. It jumps almost three times the price, or at least double the price, and then some at 77 inches. It's a huge gap, and it's a huge gap in immersion. Is it a few thousand dollars more worth it? I highly doubt it. TCL, as, long, as well as Vizio, kind of takes that out for you. What I like about the TCL, though, guys, versus the displays that it's um, competing with. So let's talk about competing as... Um, Caleb says in the video, he's comparing it a little bit with the Sony 950G, which is what he compared the Vizio Quantum XP series to. Um, Sony is only really has one LCD this year that is, in my opinion, one that you should really look at, which is the 950G. The one above it would be the Z9G, which is a luxury brand, and then below it is the 800, and they get... The problem is, as you go below the 950, you start getting into edge lit territory, which I just can't recommend um, with HDR anymore. Same with Samsung. As we jump below their QLED line, or even their Q70, I think Q70 is full array this year, Q60, MU series, when you start getting into those edge lit displays, guys, it's not that there's anything wrong with them. It just opens up the door for edge lit bleed and a lot of problems with HDR due to the pushing the gamma and the backlight up. It's just something that we're having a hard time seeing. We saw that with the LG Nanocell. It's not something I can really recommend to you guys. And this channel is really all about passing on information and what I would recommend for you. I'd recommend any day of the week to go with a flagship TCL versus a lower end Samsung or Sony or LG. That's always been my recommendation. Flagship TCL, flagship Hisense, flagship um, Vizio, I will always put that against their below mid. Now, there's nothing wrong with below mid, guys, if that's what you guys can afford. It's never going to be snooty like that. We're never trying to say stay away from them because they're cheap or they're not worth it because you guys don't have the money. What I'm trying to say is for $1,300 or 1400 you can have a 75-inch full array display that gets pretty bright has Dolby Vision, HDR10, and one of the best smart features in the business with TCL. So right off the bat, it does beat Vizio and its operating system. 
where it doesn't now, it doesn't have the quantum dot technology that the new Vizios and obviously the QLEDs have. But staying with the price, and most importantly, guys, staying with the size, the size being what so many of you are after in terms of that immersion. So when we're talking about something like this display, the TCL, if you're saying, hey, I can only afford a, let's just say a 55 inch Q8FN um, or Q80R or one of those displays, this is where I go 75 inch TCL versus a much smaller QLED or even an OLED, if you wanna be honest. This is where, I know that sounded crazy, but this is where sometimes size, if it's done well, can hang with a much smaller display. Now that's up to you guys as far as quality versus size. But here you get quality and size, and most importantly, for less than what those displays cost at 55 and 65. So he does make some really good points here about Dolby Vision. Dolby Vision crushing in the blacks, you know, also some clipping of bright highlights with HDR. Um, the Q90 does that. A lot of the higher end brands crush small detail. OLEDs crush blacks. So the fact that this is doing that isn't super surprising. It probably is a little less elegant than those other brands. Probably doesn't handle it quite as well. However, price guys. Now, Dolby Vision is very interesting. We've talked about the implementation on the 900F, the implementation on the 950G, not being great in places, especially with Netflix and their compression and blacking out images, making blacks look like they're my freaking t-shirt and my hat. Sorry to get dressed up for you guys today. Um, but you still get Dolby Vision. And, I'd be in, and I'll see when I get my own Vizio Quantum XP series how Dolby Vision does from a disc and not from Netflix or Amazon Prime or anything. I bet you it's different from disc instead of it being app-based. But I would not let that dissuade you. Having Dolby Vision and HDR10 is amazing. Now, Dolby Vision, trust me when I tell you, when it hits 12-bit in a few years, that's when you'll hear true Dolby Vision. And I think that's why Dolby Vision struggles with 10-bit. And its implementation isn't always great, but it's still a plus to have. If you can have them both, guys, have them both. I pass this information on because so many of you want a 75-inch TV. And again, I'm sorry I'm not coming to this video super prepared. And the TCLs and where they are. Their, their launches, as well. Um, same with Vizio and same with Hisense, have been very clumsy this year. I don't know what's coming or going, but the fact that this display is... 75 inches and cost that much money it's like a graphics card i mean it's amazing 1300 dollars for those of you that is reachable that's something that you guys might be able to grab now he does mention what's important in this video is screen uniformity which is extremely important now he does comment on my comment actually i commented on this video <laughs> where he said that he hopes that it's universe um it's uniformed meaning that it's not just a picked version that they were given a digital trend, which is a possibility, guys. That's where you do get into trouble if the company sends it to you versus something like Artings where they buy their own. But TCL, I think, is very well aware that the 6 Series had DSC and problems. And people I know on the community or in the community, again, please comment here, did not experience that with the later bins and the later um, models that were released. So I have a feeling that whatever it was that was causing that in their manufacturing process has hopefully been taken care of. So in short, at 14 minutes, we're talking about a lot of things here, but primarily we're talking about size and quality for cheap guys. And that is what's amazing. Trust me when I tell you 75 inches is incredible. It is incredible. I've had all the sizes leading up. And 75, there's something about the immersion. There's something that's very VR about it when you're playing games. When the TV's, I mean, that wide, and I'm a pretty big guy. I mean, you're sitting, it just, it engulfs you. It literally engulfs you, and it just has that immersion for film. And for a TV like this to have so little blooming from his blooming tests, and to still be bright at the same time, good black levels, 
that's something you're not seeing much at this price point. We've talked about some blooming on the 950G. We've talked about blooming even in the higher end displays being worse now than they were last year because they're worried about this viewing angle. TCL and Vizio and those guys don't care, at least not yet, about that viewing angle crease, which to me is compromising LEDs a little bit this year. So something like this, give me the deep blacks, the quantum dot, not super important to me. It's still going to be beautiful. He loves the, the natural SDR image. Now, this is where when we listen to these reviews, natural, vibrancy, saturation are words that we want to listen to. When you say natural image, guys, remember, is that something that you really like? Natural, think Sony. Um, saturated, uh, vibrant, think Samsung, LG. So that's what he's saying is that the SDR is very impressive. It's very natural. The HDR has more of a saturated look, which is pretty which is pretty par for the course for a lot of these companies. Dolby Vision, best operating system among the best of them. 75 inches, $1,300, $1,400, guys. You cannot beat that. Give Caleb Dennison a lot of credit and Digital Trends for getting a 75-inch display for them to review and for bringing it to us. And the fact that he's saying that it hangs in there pretty well with the displays that he's reviewed, the Q90R, the... Um, Vizio Quantum XP series, the 950G, and he's done the C9, a lot of the OLEDs. I mean, now I've never, in fairness, I've never seen these guys kill anything. And we're not going to kill anything here either. That's not what we do here. But I have to tell you that TCL, man, 75 inches for that price is amazing. It really is amazing. Now, where does this compare with the, the P series? The P series, honestly, P-Series Quantum, I'm not sure the pricing on the 75, but you'd have the Quantum Dot. But a lot of you guys are really, really interested in smart features and its operating system and it being snappy and intuitive. TCL has that beat, easily beats the Vizio in that regard. So do me a favor, check out this review. I will link it in the description below. It only came out four or five hours ago. Check out Caleb Dennison, who's the editor, senior editor, as well as Digital Trends. They are a very good channel. And what's so good about what they've done is they're actually willing to listen. I don't know about Digital Trends as a whole. I will tell you that Caleb was had no ego at all. He was very, very nice, very, very friendly to me personally, and very complimentary of the community that we built here, guys. So if he does happen to jump on, show him how positive you guys can be. And I don't know if he will, but he may. He might. But very nice guy, um, great channel, check him out, I'll link it in the description below. But then link that one, or check it out, I think on Amazon, and I'm not sure if the 75 inches is going to be available at BJ's and Costco's and those other ones, you guys can price match. But that price, man, $1,300, $1,400 for a 75 inch full array. Now to just circle back really quick, when we walk into, this is where I'll, you know, I get a little off track, we walk into these BJ's and these Costco's. Right away, your eyes are going right to the Samsungs. But remember, a lot of times you're looking at a Samsung edgelet or a Sony edgelet. The Costco's had like an 800 Sony. And guys, MU series, a lot of the edgelet displays, trust me, you want full array local dimming with HDR. You want full array. You will not have those bright blooming and, and the edge lip. Trust me, you can't unsee them. So at least go full array with whatever you choose. Put TCL 75 inches in there, guys. I think it's an amazing display. I would purchase it myself. Um, check out Caleb. Check out Digital Trends. And thank you so much for always being amazing. I have five or six videos ready to launch. I cannibalize my own content, so I apologize for that. I have Toy Story 4 review. I have C9. Um, a bunch of other things to talk about. We'll do videos every day. I will see you in the comments. And I thank you as always. I am Brian from Whisper Status 74. Take care.